Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here. Welcome to episode 46 of my Rotary Craft tutorial series. Um, before we get started, I, again, I want to apologize for lack of videos recently. Um, there's no real excuse or reason for it, but yeah. So anyway, today we're looking at the Lava Smeltery. And the Lava Smeltery is... Basically, it's a super furnace, is the best way to put it. Um, and we'll take a look first at how to craft it, and then we'll talk about what it does. And uh, you'll see exa you'll see why it's so useful. So the lava smelter is crafted quite simply. I love how these little gooeys push any eye out of the way now. Uh, four base panels, two reservoirs, and three furnaces. It gives you the lava smelter. So what is the lava smelter? Well, like I said, it's a super furnace. So this is the smeltery right here. You fill it with lava, and this is what it looks like when you fill it with lava. So it's got a tank that will hold 16,000 millibuckets of lava, and it does eat through the lava uh, constantly, whether it's doing anything or not, in order to maintain its heat. Okay, and once it gets up to temperature, which means it has to get at least at 400 degrees, and the way you do that is just to pipe lava in there, and it'll slowly heat up. Uh, once it hits 400 degrees, you can start using it, um, as long as you give it some power. It doesn't require much power. In fact, it doesn't even require this much power. It actually only requires this much power. 2048 kilowatts. And it really doesn't care about torque or speed. As long as you give it 2048 kilowatts, the power meter will be happy. And the power input does not seem to affect its operational time. Um, if I take this and boost it up to like 64, now we're getting a lot more pow uh, power. Uh, it doesn't do anything. Um, if I go in here and I boost this to 2048 radians, uh, it doesn't affect the operational time. But when you first get this to 400, the operational time will be 10 seconds. Now that I've let it heat up to the max temp of lava, which is 630, it's now going at, well, 600, but we're, we got 30 degrees ambient temperature. It's now at 7.5. So I don't know, maybe it would run faster in the nether. I don't know. But um, yeah, it seems like the temperature, not the input power, is what determines um, how fast this runs. So now, why would you want to use the lava smeltery? Well, the answer comes when we open the GUI and we take a look. This is how many slots the lava smeltery has for input. This is 18 input slots. And guess what? That's right. It processes them all at the same time. This means you can essentially smelt an entire stack of items in only three operations. Bam. Look at that. Bam, look at that. This is really cool. There we go. Except for 10, we have smelted now 60. Well, 654. We smelted 64. I can just throw those in there. Essentially, we, we can smell an entire stack of uh, these iron flakes in, you know, about 30 seconds. It's not bad. And this is a much easier system to set up than, for for example, giving a uh, putting on a friction heater and giving it enough power to smelt the items that quickly. So you could set this up earlier. So if you have lava available and nothing to do with it, and you want to smelt things quickly, this could be a good idea. This would be good, I think, if you need to get a lot of building material, like if you're trying to build something out of like smooth stone and you don't have the igneous extruder. From uh, and you want to make uh, cobblestone with a cobble gen and then turn it into smooth stone, this would be a good way to do it. Basically, anytime you want to smelt something en masse, so maybe you want to make a bunch of glass, throw a bunch of sand in here, it's great. 18 slots, 7.5 seconds, smell 18 items. Pretty awesome. Now, obviously, of course, this will get eclipsed eventually, because eventually you can put enough power into a friction heater to smelt like an entire stack instantaneously. Uh, just about, but you know, that takes a lot of power. And that's a later game thing. This can give you a nice big boost to your smelting capacity uh, for not a whole lot of, of, of uh, upfront cost. As long as you can keep uh, the lava coming, which isn't all that difficult. There are mods, of course, that generate lava for you. You can use to generate lava. If you've got X Nilo or something like that, you can generate lava out of, you know, cobblestone, and you can have a 
cobble gens and stuff to get that. And there's a lot of ways to generate lava. I'm not going to go into it, but this lava smeltery uh, can can definitely speed up your smelty times if you've got to smelt a ton of stuff at the same time. Um, actually, it would be interesting to, to second see uh, if we can smelt. I assume you can smelt multiple types of items at the same time. So let's go ahead and throw some cobblestone up there, and then we'll throw some sand down here. And of course, the answer is yes. We can totally um, smelt up multiple types of items in the same furnace at the same time, which is another awesome use uh, for this lava smeltery, letting you smelt a whole bunch of stuff uh, at once. I'm not sure how this interacts with uh, with, with with pipes. Um, we should probably find out, actually. Let's just take everything out of it. Let's see if we can do this. We'll just take an item duct from thermal expansion. See if it connects. Well, obviously, it'll look like it connects. We have to see. Chest. Bam. Whack it. Pneumatic servo. Nope. And no. Check cobble. Check it in here. Flip this to ignore. And yeah. So you can pump items straight into this, although it will not spread it out between all the uh, slots. Apparently, um, you would need to either do something like that or just pump in an absolute crap ton of stuff in order to fill the entire thing with stacks. But I mean, you could totally just smell 18 stacks of items. And this is pretty cool. So you can pump items into it, but it won't spread out. Um, which, um, it's, it's not surprising. I think there are some, there are some mods like um, that can you can tell it to put items into different slots in a machine, but I think the, I don't know if the machine has to be set up for that. But anyway, that's the lava smeltery. Pretty darn cool. Uh, like furnace on steroids. Like 18 furnaces in one essentially, and it runs on lava. So um, it's pretty cool. You can see right here uh, about it, how much lava it, it takes at uh, over its time. It's just sitting there, eating up this lava slowly. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. Um, lava smeltery. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Stay tuned for future episodes. I'm Slayton Leach, and I'm signing out.